That's the one yeah. thing I fear is dying. Me, man, that haunts me. Because uh, uh, the thought of not existing. You know, it's like, you really? know what the new thing they call it is? Dirt nap. Good uh, God, Larry. Uh, that's what they call it, a dirt nap. You would not say that on Hulu? No, I wouldn't say it, but I'd say it here. <laughs> <laughs> but look, can I calm your fears about death? Yeah, please. You be and, serious. Are you being serious? I'm being completely serious. Because I used to be, as he knows, obsessed with it. Uh, and I would ruminate yeah. all night on it. And then I came to a realization that you and death will never intersect. As long as you're uh, here, death is not. As long as death is there, you are not. Yeah, but, but since you know it's coming. Oh, but, well, yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> you want to go... But knowledge, I have the no I can't take away the knowledge that it's coming. I don't believe I'm going anywhere. You don't? Do not. Do not not believe in a higher power looking down on me. I see too much. I've interviewed too many religious leaders, too many people who... I've never got the answer to the one question, which is why. Why Connecticut children? Why? Why a bomber in Boston? Because if God, if there is a God, yeah. he's omnipotent. Yes. If he's omnipotent, he could prevent it. Yes. Why didn't he prevent it? I don't know, man, but you got to stop hanging out in that hot tub with Bill Maher all the time. And gets a, it sounds like you got a God-shaped hole in your heart. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I agree with Bill Maher on religion, and I'm married to a very religious woman. My wife is a devout Mormon, Yeah. so we don't discuss religion in the house because... I think organized religion is. No, I agree with you. Cause more organized. problems. But come on, don't you want to live forever? You bet. Don't you want to cross that river? Yeah, I wanna. Don't you want to kiss tomorrow now? You believe you go somewhere? Sure. Where do you go? Well, uh, first they put you in a big black car. <laughs> And by golly, everybody's dressed in their best Sunday go to meeting clothes. The best was Mel Brooks as the 2,000-year-old man. Still the funniest comedy yeah, ever made. When, when he says to him, how do you count, how did you live 2,000 years? He says, well, once, for, I was 400 years old, and I got a tip that the angel of death was coming. And what I did was, I ate a whole clove of garlic, and I got under the under the covers and the angel of death tapped me on the shoulder I turned around and said who is it and he went away for 300 years <laughs> <laughs> Mel Brooks Mel Brooks is amazing he's doing oh. the show next week is he yeah there's nobody funnier Off, I've, I've wait what show I've interviewed he's doing your show yeah, here? yeah. He, I've interviewed every funny person in the world you and you're very funny yeah. there's nobody am I second because Mel Brooks is a freaking genius I had him on my show the night Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, right? He's on, my, he's on my radio show. <laughs> the night Neil Armstrong landed on the moon. So I said to him, you want to play the 2,000-year-old man? He says, okay. I said, okay, my guess is the 2,000-year-old man tonight. Man has landed on the moon. What do you think of that? And out of nowhere, he says, I love the moon. The moon in my whole life, 2,000 years, is my favorite thing is the moon. I said, why? He says, because... For 400 years, I thought I had a cataract. <laughs> <laughs> and one day, this guy named Irving said, isn't the moon beautiful tonight? I said, the what? <laughs> Irving. Nah, that's funny.